what's up guys welcome back for another dev pro dual video the satellite archetype a few cards have been released but the archetype now is already a force to be reckoned with there's a high chance the archetype will get more support later if we get uh, more information about upcoming sets this is my current list a short set the monster core consists of three monsters first we have Deneb, uh, pretty much a stratos uh, Altair, uh, a Debris Dragon for Satellanites, and Vega, that gives you an extra monster on board, so an extra summon. The reason why they are so powerful is that they activate every time they are summoned, so normal summoned and special summoned. They also have their own quick play spell card that acts like Cunning of the Six Samurai, so um, they also have their own counter trap, which I'm not playing, uh, it acts like uh, a Solemn Judgment slash Infernity Barrier, but it's definitely not at the same level, I'll explain after the duels. Um, okay, game number one. Okay, my opponent is playing uh, Cyber Dragons. He's playing uh, Proto Cyber Dragon, not a fan of that and Cyber Dragons. He sets lands and the network, so my turn, open with double supply unit. I'm only, yeah, obviously going to chain the MST on the network since I don't want uh, to uh, set them, uh, let him set up for uh, later in the duel. Then. Uh, he's going to land not the damage up, so I'm able to activate my bridge. Bridge is acts like a Gunning of the Six Samurai, so tribute one Satella Knight monster on my field, send it back to the deck, and special summon one Satella Knight monster from my deck. And uh, yeah, which is obviously going to be Denep. But bridge does have a downside that I can only special summon monsters that turn, um, which are Satella Knights. And at this moment, Satella Knights don't have any uh, exceed, which needs uh, two level four monsters, so only level three. And uh, that backfires, so special summon the, the Kage first turn m m yeah, might have been a, a minor mistake on my part. But as you see, Shining Angel in combination with Supply Unit triggers uh, or equals advantage. You can search out your Denep, uh, and then a Denep activates in the damage tab. You can search out any Satella Knight monster from your deck and get two draws off thanks to Supply Unit. So, during my turn, I'm going to normal summon Vega and special summon the Denep from my hand. Again, search out the Vega from my deck, so a nice little loop you can do there. And I think he eventually is going to scoop, yeah. Destroy his monster with uh, my Exceed Satella Knight. Because, yeah, you can detach one card and destroy one card from the opponent. Uh, pretty good. Um, next, my opponent is playing um, Mega Phantom Beast, and he's going to end phase scapegoat, so pretty much telling that he's already playing. Uh, Mega Phantom Beast, unless, yeah, maybe a uh, Destiny Hero with Plasma. Then he's going to single summon for Armory Arm. Armory Arm not that threatening, so I'm not going to activate Apotomus. And, uh, yeah, I do get some damage, but he's going to attack into Shining Angel and obviously not going to special summon the Danab just yet. Now, uh, only Hamstrato uh, can attack, so obviously go for uh, Danab and search out, I believe, the Vega from my deck or another uh, Altair. Activate Call of the Hunted on Shining Angel, see if he has any kind of response. He does with MST, so there's one back row less to worry about, and then eventually exceed for their uh, Satella Knight exceed, uh, Delta Telos, I believe it's called. The uh, counter, yeah, the continuous trap from uh, the Mega Phantom Beast was kind of expected, so giving him an extra token. My uh, Blackhorn is an extra, is an excellent out against Draco Sec. Draco Sec was expected. Um, yeah, Bob was useless because at that moment he had a token, so the Draco Sec could not have been destroyed. Bottom is still uh, sitting there on the field, and it doesn't really matter what I do here. He eventually loses his field since he cannot uh, tribute a token with his uh, aerial charge, I believe it's called, the, the continuous trap. He topics into an Hamstrato, but he's not going to set it, so that's a huge mistake if you're playing against the Telonites, because they can easy uh, swarm the field thanks to uh, Vega, special summon Tainab again. You can also special summon, yeah, your uh, Altair, and Altair special summons your Tainab from your uh, graveyard, but uh, then only that turn, Satella Knights can attack. Um, it didn't really matter in this duel, but uh, it can backfire later. Next, my opponent is playing Fire Kings. He's not going to set his Phoenix Chain, he probably should have, because Rota into Tainab equals, uh, yeah, starts up your engine. Um, I, after something, I eventually decide to finish chain his Garonix because um, I was fairly certain that he had another monster, the Yak Shower Barong, to take over my Dinep so that nets me an extra draw and sets up yeah, Dinep in my grave so I can go for the, the rank 4 Satellanatic Seed during my turn as I do now. And 
that uh, Garonix obviously has 2,700 tech, but which is bigger than my uh, than my exceed. Um, so my plan here was to destroy his back row and attack over the fire dog. Eventually, yeah, the fire dog wasn't expected, so that plan kind of backfired. Uh, since he was able to search out the Barong, but he's going for uh, Gagaga Cowboy, a strange move. Not that threatening, so I'm not going to have to activate my horn. Make a second Delta Delos, destroy the Phoenix Chain, then destroy his Gagaga Cowboy. And I'm going to attack over the Garunix. And uh, yeah, eventually special summons the smaller Garunix. I'm not going to attack that, since um, I was fairly certain that I can uh, get rid of it without triggering it next turn. Thanks to Korn, he gets 1000 damage and he doesn't have any back row. So I can attack with both Delta Delos for a game. So G G. Next. The, yeah, I had, when I was playtesting the deck, I had a very nice uh, mirror match. My opponent starts off uh, very good, also with uh, the Vega and Tainab, but he makes um, uh, Art Knights, so not that great of an opening move, I thought. Since most of the time it's just better to go for uh, King of the Feral instead, search out Kage to Kage and, and go from there. But as you'll see, the Art Knight was very important for his deck. So he attacks over the Tainab and I get a draw, and at this moment, I thought I had pretty much the yeah, I pretty much had the game in the back, since um, I can easily get off uh, uh, my monsters effect to destroy the Arc Knight or at least yeah detach uh, a few materials, so it's pretty much useless. But now I see that he's playing uh, Baryon's Force, so now the I thought the useless Arc Knight turns into a huge threat, so I'm forced to finish chain his summon his effect, and then eventually he goes for a Zero Lancer, which I'm forced to Blackhorn. And I also eventually lose my bottomless to the Tainap. So now at this moment I don't have any um, uh, yeah, uh, defense against Excited Knight. So that's why I'm not going to activate my supply unit. Um, so it might seem that I'm in a very good position. But as you know the, the, the Satella Knight deck can easily exceed for rank 4. So that's why I go for the King of the Feral Imp, Search of the Kage and again set up for next turn. But he goes for a second Art Knight and then activates rank up magic and goes for the Exceed, the Chaos Exceed, and then he exceeds for that. Um, I believe its name is, uh, yeah, this topic, Baryon. Um, and also it's 6k, so again, uh, not expected. Uh, a huge threat, I'm dropping to 2 for uh, life points, 2400 life points. And I eventually go for uh, Art Knight to, yeah, take control of his monster and attack with only uh, Altair, since I used Altair's effect, so I can only attack with Altair that turn. So again, I thought I was in a good position, but he rips Black Luster, so he's able to attack over my monster and then attack over Arc Knight. Uh, I survive with 200 life points, but he has no back row, so that lets me, so, uh, yeah, search out Tainab and go for any kind of XC to get rid of the Black Luster. Eventually go for Delta Delos, I believe. Yeah, destroy the Black Luster and attack for a game. So this was an excellent mirror match. Uh, and all of that because of that one Arc Knight. But yeah, I couldn't know that he was playing uh, Baryon's Force. Okay, the last duel of the video. My opponent is playing Lightsworn Zombies. He gets to start, I believe. Yeah, immediately he's going to mill off a Plague Spreader right off the bat. And also he's going to discard the Malicious. So that's already an excellent set to go for the Stardust. Malefic start. Um, yeah, start a Spark Dragon, indeed, and with the book set. I think my only option here was to go for Arc Knight. Very optimistic, uh, try to take control of the Stardust and then uh, yeah, take over the Zombie Master. But he has a Book of Moon to prevent that. And on top of that, he's going for Void Ogre. So now he can uh, yeah, negate my spell or traps once per turn. So that's very problematic, since I do have a prison set for the Stardust Spark Dragon. Um, I draw another monster, so not that... Uh, good. I think my only option here was to, or eventually go for Omega. In hindsight, because with the combination of uh, Honest and Prison, I can get rid of uh, his um, both yeah, Stardust and Void Ogre. But it seems that he activates Upstart into Dark Armed, and Dark Armed prevents the Void Ogre from activating, so that's more easy to get rid of both his Synchros. And eventually I go for Delta Delos Destroy on his back row, see that it's the uh, solar recharge. I also made Omega just in case uh, his both back rows were, uh, were, yeah, were a threat, but as you see both his back rows were both uh, yeah, two solar recharges. He's not going to synchro summon for any, rank, uh, yeah, any uh, level 6 monster. It doesn't really matter, so now I can easily attack for the game thanks to Vega and thanks to Danap and with the rest of my monsters. So that was an excellent game, not looking too good in the beginning.
But yeah, GG. Off to the decklist. As said, the monster core is very strong. Stratos, the Debris Dragon, and the monster that gives your uh, Satellanites an extra summon. Something extra to the archetype is that, that they also can activate on every summon and are not restricted, that they only can activate their effect on their normal summon. Because these are the only cards currently released, that's a little too less for a deck. Kageto Kage and Shining Angel are perfect to boost the deck in exceeds and searching capabilities. Upstart Goblin also helps digging for Dnap, uh, your Stratos, that's the monster you want to have as fast as possible. I am also running Supply Unit, one could argue if the card is really needed in this deck, or you can splash it in everything. I am playing Supply Unit in here because it helps digging for Dnap, and in case you have Dnap, losing your monsters to any kind of destruction gives you a solid draw engine, and puts pressure on your opponent. It also might change their playstyle, like playing around Supply Unit for example. I'm also playing it because the yeah because the Satellanite uh, monsters trigger on every summon. It equals in even more pluses. Also, Shiny Angel combined with Supply Unit is too good to overlook. Crash into your opponent's monster, draw a card with Supply Unit and Special Summon a Dnap, and search a monster from your deck, or Special Summon Vega and get an extra summon during a damage tap. That's just too good. Last, they have their own quick play spell, Bridge. Select one Satellanite monster on your field and send it back to the deck, and special summon another one from your deck. But it has a downside that you can only special summon Satellanites for the rest of the turn. And that can backfire, because their only exceed needs 3 level 4 monsters, so they don't have any exceed with 2 monsters. Running one Bridge is definitely enough, it helps bypassing cards like Venus Chain, for example. Last, they also have their own counter trap, very similar to Infinity Barrier, negating everything. But the cost is not that great. You need to tribute a Satellanite monster on the field. Um, then you can negate the card. It does let you draw an extra card after uh, the resolution. The card itself seems very good, but look at its condition of tributing a Satellanite monster. There are tons of games, uh, yeah, tons of game states where tributing your own monster is not worth it or puts you yeah, in, a, in a very difficult position. Sure, you can tribute your Dnap and special summon it later with Call of the Hunted or something, but that is the ideal, the, the ideal scenario. I think you want to keep it as simple and efficient as possible. Establish your field with powerful exceeds, like their exceed Delta Delos, and back it up with other powerful defensive traps like Phoenix Shane and Blackhorn of Heaven, which also removes huge threats. But in comparison with Constellation Factor, the counter trap, at hardly no cost. It's very likely that future support might make the counter trap more easy to run, but at this moment I don't think it's worth the spot. Um, okay, that's it guys, thanks for watching, and feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Victim signing out, peace.